Yeah, you know what? I think I'll pass. I think I'll go back to the house, uh, back in Paper Mario. Hey guys, Willpower64 here, bringing you to my next Let's Play. This is Luigi's Mansions, a launch title for the Nintendo GameCube. Um, this was not my first GameCube game, though. That went to Super Smash Bros. Melee. Anyways, here in Luigi's Mansions, uh, I guess we can go over a little bit of the controls over here. Use a control stick to move around, and if you press B, you turn off your flashlight. Which, this place can get pretty creepy when the flashlight is not on. We're all good. And if, if you press A, Mario. you call out for Mario. You're that scared, you must call for Mario. Anyways, looking around here, the C stick actually moves uh, Luigi around. You can aim your flashlight if you want. But let's get into the real thing about this game. So, over here, we want to go up these stairs. Lovely stairs. I like how they look. I've always liked this little carpet, uh, little carpet things. I'm just rambling off here. We want to go to this door here. I'm not call out for Mario, but instead... What was that? I hope that was just the door. Anyways, if you go over here and try this door... No sound. I don't like the sound of that. Even though there was no sound. What we want to do is go down here. Not exactly sure what that orange thing was, but it did drop this. We got a key! Keys are gonna be essential in this game. So with this key, we wanna go to the door that that weird orange mist thing went through. We'll go up here, and Luigi will slowly put the key in the keyhole. And I like how the handle looks, how it's like the swirl. That looks really cool. Well anyways, open the door slowly. Mm. And enter this room. The parlor. Uh, I think this house belongs to this person. I think we better leave. Or it might belong to this guy. Sure, take a lot of knocks in this line of work. I'm getting too old for this ghost catching tomfoolery. Anyways, nice to meet you. I'm Professor Egad. This house, I swear, it seems to have more ghosts every day. What a young fella like you doing around here, anywho? Uh oh. Uh-oh, this looks ugly. That's what I just said. All right, youngster. Look lively. Follow me post-haste. Yeah, if anything like that came after me, I'd definitely be running for it. So your name's Luigi. I think our paths were destined to cross. Well met, Luigi. Hmm? Where is this, you ask? Why, these cozy quarters are where I do my ghost studying. Professor E. Gaz Ghost Research Laboratory. The lab, if you are for the shortened mind. You won this mansion in a contest you didn't even enter? Sounds pretty efficient to me. If I have entered a contest, I and I found out I won a mansion that I didn't even enter, I would probably think it's a scam. I've been living here since I was 12 or so, and I tell you, that mansion appeared just a few days ago. Told you, it's a scam. The spirits have fooled you. No, they scammed you even worse. I don't know if it's a dream or illusion or what all, but surely wouldn't be too happy winning a haunted house. Now that I got a good look at you, I just recalled a red guy with a red guy with a red hat, kind of like yours, went into the mansion without even stopping to chat. And he never returned. Was he a dream too? No, he was a scam as well. What? That guy was your brother? Oh no, he wasn't a scam. He wouldn't stand a chance against those ghosts without my help. You have to go after him. Here's the plan. I'll teach you to deal with ghosts so you can rescue your brother, Luigi. Alright. So, here we are. Here's the controls. Uh, if you notice the control settings, you have standard. This pretty much makes it so you can just move around normally. But if you change it, you get sidestep. So this will make pretty much Luigi walk around like a crab, where he only goes left and right, or up and down. No diagonal stuff, it's just that. 
Uh, if you stay here for a little bit longer, a song certain plays. I forgot the name of the song. I'll probably post it on screen what it is, and I think you wait a few minutes or whatnot. If you're interested, go check it out. Just stay on the screen for a few minutes, and I know some other games do it. You know what? Let's wait and find out. So there you go, there's the hidden song. I think you have to wait two minutes for it to appear. But anyways, let's continue. Here we are. That's the vacuum cleaner engineered to catch ghosts. I call this, this is genius, the Poltergeist 3000. It can suck up all kinds of things. Let her rip. We are suddenly now using a Beyblade. You let it rip. So, use the C stick to move around. Hold the R button to start sucking. I'm gonna have a hard time doing this adventure with saying stuff like that. So you better use this. It's the only way to foil them. It's the only thing they fear. Or something of that effect. Ahem. Well, now that we've started your training, ghosts seem to like the darkness and they avoid the light. If you hit them with a flashlight beam all of a sudden, you can stun them momentarily. Then it's vacuuming time. When you see your chance, hold down the R button to tilt the, con tilt the control stick in the opposite direction. Give it a try. You'll learn more than that way than just listening to me yap about it. So, what you want to do? Best way to catch ghosts, have your flashlight off, stun them like that. Once their heart appears, you want to hold the R button and vacuum them up. I think that's going to be the best word I'm going to have to do. Yeah, that's what he's saying, vacuum them up. And then, of course, hold the control stick in the opposite direction that they are. So, or I guess the opposite way of you. Either one. So, there we go. So, we've got two so far. Hold the R button for C-stick. Okay. Oh, next one's right here. Oh, there's two. All right. Let's see. Can I get this one, too? There we go. All right. Let's go get them. We're like becoming Ghostbusters. Tilt the control stick in the opposite direction quickly and repetitively do the best results. You have to choose the flashlight. Surprise them with the light and get close. Pow, pow. More the better. Got it? Okay, we got two more coming this way. So we're going to try and get two at once. All right, we got both. Let's go. Come on. Hey, good. That's good. Hey, kid, shape it up. You can't be looking for your brother the way you're carrying on. Here they come. Here comes all of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and lure a few of them together. Go over here. Wait till they all show up. All right. We got them all. No, we all forgot one. Ah, uh, we got, I thought we got them all, but we left one behind. Catching goes meaning this flashlight. And the Poltergeist 3000 has a team. You get me, young feather? That'll do. How many did you get? Wow, 10 ghosts. Puzzly dazzling. The Ouija, so there was 11. It's funny because the last time I did this, um, I, I this is my second time recording this. Uh, something happened with my audio. Um, well, for some reason, only 10 ghosts appear, but if I had caught that one, that would have been 11. That's weird. Anyways, we are here in the gallery. And look at these paintings. Just look at these. Oh, look at that. That's number one for a reason. You see the the beauty and the detail into it. But not only that, like, one is pretty good. If you go over here and you look at this one. Mm -hmm. mm, this one. Number two, so close to being number one. Just just off by a little bit, but it's still good. But you know what's better than that one? If you go through this door here, through this little gold door, you enter this gorgeous room. And look at this. Look at this. It's spectacular. And how fitting for something like mm -hmm. this. That is the most breathtaking thing I've ever seen. You cannot beat that. That's just so, so beautiful. It'll make a grown man cry. All right, I'm done fooling around. Yeah, there's no paintings around here. However, I do want to show this off. As you see, this painting here has a little, the frame, it's just a regular frame. But this one over here, this one has a bit of a special frame. I wonder why. Anyways, let's go talk to Professor E. Gad. Let's see here. Talk to him. Welcome to the gallery. I once had 21 paintings in my famous ghost collection, but now there are only frames. What a crying shame. Unfortunately, there are only statues here now, but feel free to look around anyways. 
Press the X button to check your surroundings with that Game Boy Horror I gave you. Be sure, sure, be sure to search suspicious places, place extra well. You can also check objects by, by the A button by tapping and shaking stuff. Don't try it on the angels. <laughs> okay, well you told me not to, I'm gonna do it. Ooh, the wings flapping. Alright. Uh, what's this Game Boy Horror? I designed the Game Boy Horror as a communication terminal. It has all sorts of functions. For example, if you press the Z button to see your list of items you picked up, give it a try after you get some coins. Of course, you can also be able to see portrait ghosts there once you've captured some. You can also use the Y button to display the map of the mansion. The display will color the rooms that you visit them. Check the map if you ever get lost. Got that, Sunny? Oh yeah, yeah, I got it, all right. All right, well, we're pretty much done here. We're gonna go back to the lab. Okay, where will you go, Luigi? We would like to go to the mansion. Careful now, Luigi. There's Egad, waving us goodbye as we enter the mansion. One thing I kind of like about the mansion, like how the doorway looks with the two uh, lights above the doorway, makes it look like a mouth, so it's like an angry mouth as we're entering. And there's Toad! Hey Toad, what's going on here? You're just crying on the ground. Wow, it's Luigi, you finally made it. Oh joy, thank goodness. Me? Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. And when we heard that you've won a mansion, he never returned. Then when I arrived here, the mansion was full of ghosts. How many people did Luigi tell? I mean, I guess he told uh, told Mario, and I guess Mario told everybody else. You have no idea how upset the princess will be. She'll flip. Can Peach even flip in Super Smash Bros? I don't know. Leave it to me. You made dark and stormy night. There we go. I wish I could help you. Oh, wait. I got it. At least let me do this. And Toad is your way of saving the game with the creepy looking face of Luigi. All right. Talk to me for help anytime. All right. We'll remember that. So now we're back in the mansion with the vacuum. So now with the vacuum, as uh, Egad mentioned, you can tap A by... Well, press A to tap. To, oh, watch out. Incoming chandelier. Stay away from it. Yeah, sometimes that happens randomly. Uh, I think there's another way to trigger it, but with a vacuum, you can also check for other things. The vacuum is used, it can be used very well in this game. So if you want to walk around and get some coins, you can. But if coins are out of reach, use your vacuum. Just like that. Go over here and get a few more coins. Now, over here, that chandelier that tried to attack us, it's got some money in it. I don't know how someone was able to put money in a chandelier, but hey, you know what? I ain't questioning it. Free money. So, here becomes some of the collecting thing, the collectibles that you get in this game. Coins, if you see on the bo on the bottom right, where your Game Boy Horror is, you have coins, dollar bills, and gold bars. And also on the bottom left, you've got your heart. We're at 100. I will go over money and whatever a little bit more later on when it becomes more valid. But right now, what you want to do is collect as much coins as you want. That's one thing great about this game. You can get money. Now, normally, money would come out of here. Sometimes they won't. Sometimes they do. You can always come back to a room and check again. There should be money coming out of this right here. That's pretty good. Let's check above here. What does this do? Anything in here? Nope, nothing there. What about over here? Whoa, poison mushroom. Okay, poison mushrooms. Um, they You make you lose 10 coins, I think. And you shrink. Make it you so you can't use your vacuum. Speaking of which, we want to use our vacuum right here. <laughs> Who put out my candles? You, Mr. Lime Green. Well, dark rooms are dangerous around here. Yes. They love the dark, and now they'll go for you. You're in for it now. <laughs> Just like the red cap before you. May you wander in darkness forever. Are you afraid of the dark, little man? Are you? Ha! Here they are now. And here come the ghosts. This time, the ghosts are going to hurt you, unlike the ones that were in the uh, the training area. The same method would work here. Turn off your flashlight, let them come behind you, stun them, and then hit the vacuum. Once their heart appears, you want to start sucking them up, vacuuming them up. I gotta think of a better word. Vacuuming sounds better. All right, here we go. We're going to get this guy, and just like that, a treasure chest appears. And I love this. The way Luigi opens up a treasure chest. He humps it. 
I don't know what Luigi did to that treasure chest, but it did something to make it open up. And now we actually get a good view of the map. So, if I go down here, you notice the area is yellow. Like, it's got that uh, yellow look to it. And everywhere else kind of has, like, that dark gray look. When they're dark gray, it means an area you haven't explored yet. You also notice doors, and you can see some doors have locks to them. We've got quite a few areas to go through. So if we go through here, and yes, every time you open up a new door, you have this little cutscene. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to skip this one. Come in here, and the door's barred it up. We can't get out. But if I want to go to my map real quick, this room is now like a light gray. That means it's an area that you've explored but haven't lit up yet. All right. So in this room, the enter, enter room? I'm not exactly sure what that's for, but okay. Ooh, a heart. Hearts. There are three sizes of hearts in this game. And there's a new type of ghost. This ghost has 20 HP, and this one attacks a lot faster. So watch out for that. Uh, the hearts. There are three sizes. That one was the small one, which gives us about... Whoa, hello. That one should give us about... Ow. Come on, I want to talk about the hearts. Yes, that heart that we grabbed, this one here, gives 10. Whoa, where'd that heart go? Whoa, okay. Quite a few of them. See, that one likes to spin a lot. So, and he also moves a whole lot faster. Whoa! We're just dodging this ghost everywhere. All right, come on, come on. There we go. All right. Brighten up room. Let's go check some things now. This is always what I like to do. After the room's all lit up. Ooh, money. I like to check for whatever you can find. Hit this. Ooh, more money. All right. I'm gonna complain about this. What about up here? More money? More money! Hey, hey, hello. What about in here? Gold bar. Hey, this room was like a gold mine in here. Maybe that's what this room's for. It's for gold mining. All right, next room. Here we are. This is the wardrobe room. Yes, it is. Wardrobe room. Crash this ghost right here. And they're just going to start throwing new ghosts at us left and right because we got this ghost. That ghost likes to throw bananas. It likes to eat bananas and then just throw them. So we're going to wait till this guy. Nice try. You thought you can get away from me, eh? Not this time. So as you notice, as you're capturing this ghost, it's still eating bananas. Bananas, you can trip on them. So I recommend... Uh... <laughs> I recommend sucking those uh, bananas up. Oh god, this game. <laughs> the choices of words I'm using for this adventure. I apologize in advance. Alright, let's get rid of these banana peels. Now, if you notice, there's no more ghosts coming around. I usually like to do this when the ghosts are not here. What you want to do is you want to look at this wardrobe, have your flashlight looking up a little bit, hit it, and get ready. Here comes a ghost, and a blue one. This ghost gives out a lot of money. These are called Speedy Spirits. Speedy Spirits are ghosts that move fast if you give them the chance to get away, and it becomes pretty much pretty dang hard to capture them again. Speedy Spirits, there's only a few of them in the game. I will be going to find as many of them as I possibly can. And if you notice on the top right screen, I will be telling how many we found so far, the area, and or the room, and where to find it. So, in here... Get the next ghost. Capture this one. Very good. And we got the, uh, can I move this? Oh, yes I can. And nothing. So, let's go capture this key. All right. Very good. Very cool. So now, we got the key back in the main area. So we're going to go back over there. But first, let's go over here. For there's Toad. Mario, where are you? Where? Huh? Luigi? Yes, Luigi, how lucky that you found me. I feel so much better now. Please, 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 save Mario. I looked everywhere. I can't find him. Where is he? I don't know how you were able to look very hard to find him, knowing... Well, then again, some of these rooms were locked up, so... I'll... Yeah, actually, how did you manage to find us here? Well, anyways, one thing I want to show off. Oh, wrong button. If you press X, you go in this nice little view here. We want to remember that. But also, if you look at these plants, take a picture of them. No one's watered these in a long time. How very sad. Yeah, it is kind of sad, actually. And if you go in here, you can actually examine quite a few things. So I'm going to show this off. Like, okay, well, let's see here. Uh, the shoes. Hmm, weird. Okay, and what about this? This is a painting of... I can't even tell. What kind of picture is this? I agree, what is that? I don't know what that is. 
Is that a person? A person with a long neck? It's creepy. Okay, well, what about this? We're taking a picture of this nice shirt. I could just gaze at one of those for hours. Nice suit, I guess, yeah. Okay, what about one of these? These look these look kind of comfortable. No, I must stick with my duds. <laughs> now, the last thing I want to show, if you take a picture of a mirror... Yeah, mirrors send you back to the entrance. Not sure why, but that's what they do. So what we want to do is we want to go up this way. And go over here. Hold up a sec, Luigi. It's me, Professor Egad. I detect spirits stronger than we've se yet seen lurking ahead, I think. It must be some of those those escaped gallery ghosts. You should know that they're really different from the other ghosts you've seen so far. They don't show their hearts very easily. Nope, not at all. When you find one, you should first use the X button to search their search its heart for clues. Sometimes you can learn the best way to surprise them. Well, Luigi, I keep my fingers crossed for you. With that, I think we're going to end things off here. Next time on Luigi's Mansions, we'll be going through the store and finding out what kind of special ghost lurk ahead. See you guys then.